Primals, I'm making this video to apologize. Because I f***ed up. Yes, you did. <laughs> Whatever, King. This is fun. The guy's a liar. He's a fraud. It's phenomenal. So, uh, with that said, welcome back to the JP Reacts channel where we like to call out lies, hypo uh, hypocrisy, and corruption, which is hard to say. And I wanted to take a second and highlight some of the key elements of this Liver King story because it's lies and corruption and it entertains me. So, for context, give you the brief 10 second overview. If you're not aware of the Liver King, he's someone who rose to fame over the past year, year and a half, selling supplements while touting his very roided up body beyond any doubt. The guy's been roided up. However, he's been in ultra denial mode, uh, out and out lying, saying no, never on steroids, haven't been, never will. And then <laughs> YouTube channel called More Plates, More Dates, run by a guy named Derek, who's basically you could s say he's a performance enhancing drug expert. He recently did a takedown video of the Liver King where he shows irrefutable proof the guy's on drugs. Why? Because he has specific email correspondence from the Liver King showing he's on drugs, more plates, more dates, exposes this, puts out a video. Less than a week later, it's got over 5 million views. Everybody's covering this because people like to see a fraud taken down in the light of truth. In this video, I wanna give you that summary and I'll also share with you just a couple of the key highlights from the very long More Plates, More Dates video, uh, including the emails he uncovered where the Liver King is sharing, here are all the drugs I'm on. He is on up to $15,000 a month worth of steroids. And uh, we'll take a quick look at the Liver King's apology video where he had nowhere else to go but into the light of truth, so he admitted it, he apologized, Got a few thoughts on that. And then uh, we'll also talk about what a charlatan is because that's kind of important. So first, let's take a look at the first email, more plates, more dates exposed. And on this, I'm gonna leave this pause just because the relevance is what you can see in writing. But this is an email correspondence between the Liver King and some other hormonal expert because the Liver King was gonna be launching his Liver King brand. And by the way, the guy makes over $100 million a year through supplements sales, part of this whole thing that gets people riled up, including myself, because I don't like deception, is when someone deceives people for their own profit. Part of the Liver King's brand, he's saying, hey, I'm going to be launching this brand. My body's going to be the face of it, so I need to get ultra jacked. Here's all the steroids I'm on. But of course, him being ultra jacked while saying, hey, I'm natural, so you too can achieve this physique, if you follow my advice, and by the way, buy my supplements. So that's the, I think, really important highlight there because that's the fraud, the deception, at the most vile part, lying to someone repeatedly for your own personal gain. So in this email from the Liver King to a hormonal consultant, here at the bottom you can see what he lists he was on. IGF-1, been taking this for a year. CJC with IMAP, which is a peptide. Ibutamorin, which is another peptide. Omnitrope, which is growth hormone. So now we're getting into real legit uh, drugs. Omnitrope, been taking this for six weeks. By the way, that growth hormone, he's on via another correspondence. Yeah, you can actually see right up here, it's cut off, but he was on $11,000 alone of Omnitrope, this growth hormone. Testosterone, taking 0.6 cc's per week. DECA, which is a real steroid for sure, been taking this for three weeks. Winstrol, which is another real steroid, been taking this for three weeks. Cool, written by the Liver King, coming from his email address. But the plot thickens, because as the more plates, more dates dude, Derek, was researching this video, he then went into his own email inbox did a search and found he had received personally an email from the Liver King that he just never saw, he never checked, but this was around the time the Liver King was gonna be starting his personal brand. So he was reaching out to Derek from More Plates, More Dates to get basically steroid advice. So now it's coming the email directly from the Liver King right to the inbox of the guy who's putting this video together to expose the Liver King's lie. Doesn't get much better than that. Let's take a look. 
So from the liver king to Derek, I need to get shredded, have more energy, get my brain working better, but I overtrain and can't stop. I played around with peptides and would like to explore real growth hormone like Omnitrope and others. Pretty incriminating. The guy who claims I've never used steroids is saying directly to him, I want to explore using growth hormone. And this, of course, this email was sent prior to the one that we just explored. So the liver king, where he gets himself into extra poop is not only he's lied, but he repeatedly lies. He doesn't just try to, over the past year and a half that he's been in fame, he hasn't just tried to avoid the topic of steroids. He repeatedly looks at any interviewer who asks him directly and he lies. And therefore he's lying also to his audience. Let's take a quick look at those. King is not just, not just double down on his statements of claiming natural, but he has li literally a hundred folded down on it on several of the biggest podcasts in the world. Regardless of whether you use stuff or not, like... I don't. Can they get a build like yours without taking them? So I want to set the record straight. I want to expand and tell you why it's possible. A, a year ago, maybe two years ago, it was all about like PEDs and steroids, mm -hmm. right? And, and, and then, you know, same question, same answer. I didn't touch the stuff, don't touch the stuff, right? Pretty fun. <laughs> So in More Plates, More Dates video, he's got a lot of examples of Liver King out and out right lying. Now, the guy, he gets caught. Nobody I know is surprised that it came out the Liver King's on steroids. Anybody who has an eye for it, it's just, it's beyond obvious. I never bought into the lie. I've known about the guy for quite a while now. I knew he was on steroids. But to me, the only surprising thing is the proof that comes out as so irrefutably easily documented. <laughs> it's just... And that led the Liver King to basically say, crap, you know, I don't have anywhere to go. I, I'm in my own bed and I've made the bed that I'm in. So he issued this apology video. Take a quick look. And I'm here now to set the record straight. Yes, I've done steroids. And yes, I'm on steroids, monitored and managed by a trained hormone clinician. So there we have his admittance, the video, it's about seven minutes long, and he kind of goes on and on, kind of victimizes himself. My opinion about his apology video, here's the good. I think he's, it's good that he completely owned what he did, and he did completely own it. The bad of the video, him owning it, that's coming from someone who's been irrefutably dishonest. So is he owning in a place from authentically like realizing, dude, I did a horrible thing. I committed fraud on millions of people and many of which bought his supplements to the tune of over $100 million. Was he sincere is the question. Or was a dishonest guy saying like, hey, the best way to win back a little bit of favor with the public is to own it and apologize because that is a great strategy even if you're not honest because a, a bs video nobody's gonna buy it so was this a dishonest person saying like hey i've been facading but if i facade into an apology where i own everything i did that could be good for business given where we're at so for me it's impossible to tell where he's at but of course i like to be skeptical of someone who deserves to be skeptical of. And then his whole video, you see him sitting in this weird throne chair, which is part of his gimmick. He's there with his shirt off and he's talking in his artificial tone of voice like, Primals, I screwed up. I need to apologize. So he was performing in the whole video, which for me made the whole thing kind of stink of inauthenticity. And then he goes on and, you know, shares his mission's always been to help men who have been struggling. Then he says, you know, I'm one of those men. That's why I do this. So kind of paints himself into the position of being a victim. And therefore from, I truly feel weak and insecure from that victimized state that led me to want to do steroids so I can look strong because secretly I'm insecure. I don't know if it was my apology video, I probably would have left that part out because it makes the apology more about him rather than acknowledging the lies and hypocrisy and fraud that he's inflicted on other people. So I think the true victims here 
are people who have been defrauded from him, even defrauded out of their money, whereas he paints himself into the role of the victim here, which is a very narcissistic thing to do. So long story short, I think his apology video was a good PR move. At the heart of it, my opinion is that it doesn't, it doesn't carry the fragrance of sincerity. That's my opinion. Let me know how, how it strikes you. Because uh, I think it's worth noting here because there's so many fraudulent people in our world. You look at politics, people who we talk about all the time, super fraudulent. And here, Liver King is just a public figure, which main reason why I wanted to cover this story is because I think it sets an example of how to spot fraud and other people that might actually have more influence over your life. Politicians, leaders, people like that. In More Plates, More Days video, he did a wonderful expose on what a charlatan actually is. To me, it's worth watching the whole video clip, but I wanna share just a screenshot that they wrote up showing what a charlatan is. A person who pretends to have expert knowledge or skill that he or she does not actually have. Remind you of anyone else you know. <clears throat> Fauci. Number two, a malicious trickster. A fake person, especially one who deceives for personal profit. Now, the liver king exuded these charlatan qualities to a team. He pretended he had a skill or specific knowledge that nobody else has and therefore he has it, but he doesn't actually have it, where he had these secrets and you gotta get the secrets from him. That's BS point number one. Then number two, a malicious trickster, a fake person, especially one who deceives for personal profit. Here's my drug-free physique, you too can have one if you buy my liver supplements. So personal profit, $100 million a year. He's been on camera saying that's what his companies earn. He used his face to generate some of those profits, even though he actually denies that. Not a good move. That's what a charlatan is. We see him all the time. We spot him all the time. Trudeau, any tyrant in power, with any remote degree of power, we see these characteristics. So I think it's worth seeing in like this cartoonish character, Liver King, not because we inherently give a crap what he's doing with his life, but because we can better spot charlatans that could influence our lives. They say the devil masquerades as an angel of light. That's a charlatan. They're masquerading as someone here to help, to extract something from you, whether that's control, power, money, whatever it is. My advice to the Liver King, if we could go back in time, it would be start your supplement companies, be as roided as you want, and just be honest about it. Because I, th I think we live in a time where, I, I know personally, I could care less what someone does with their own body. If they want to take steroids and they're not in some kind of athletic competition where that's a mechanism of cheating, take the steroids. It's great. Do, do what you want. I don't care. And I don't think many people do. They're not as stigmatized as they used to be. Certainly taking at high doses, they can hurt your health, but you got freedom to do that if you want. I think if he would have been honest from the outset, he would have grown a massive brand. I don't think it would have grown as fast, but I think he would have grown a massive brand. But the route he took is lie, which allowed him to grow a massive brand real fast. I think the honest way would have been slower growth, but he grew it massively fast, and now he's had the net result of pretty much crashing that to the ground because his deception was, it's just a matter of time before things like that are found out. So I think his growth was really high, really fast, but it's short-term growth compared to the long-term growth if he just would have been honest with who he is, what he does. That's the quick rundown that's left me very entertained about The Liar King. More importantly, I think better suited to recognize the level of charlatanism that he exuded, but recognizing that in other people, potential tyrants, things like that. I like honesty. It's a value that is important to me. Honesty breeds freedom. Lies, that's a mechanism of control, which is the opposite of freedom. That's why this kind of thing matters to me. So that's a great example of what not to do in this case. But for freedom lovers, it lets our eyes be a little bit more wider open for next time. With that said, my friend, I will see you here for the next video. But in the meantime, stay free.